Many of those watching this first learned about and now follow IMI and the City of Refuge on small tablet screens. Technology has made the world smaller and seemingly more accessible. Yet this access to often breeds apathy. Apathy born of an illusion that we somehow understand that which cannot be understood unless we are there. Perhaps this is one of the reasons why Jesus told his disciples to go. I don't even know what to think. This is one of the saddest things I've ever seen. I can't believe that there are people that are living out here among trash, among chemicals, among vultures, or whatever they're burning. These children, nobody deserves to live like this, especially not these babies. For me to know that these precious little kids it makes me want to cry. I mean, that these precious little gifts live here. You know, and that this is where they get everything that sustains them. It's, it's here. Why does it make you cry? It's just so unfilled, Mark. It's just so, it's not what God had designed. It's not God's plan. For them to have to live here. For them to have to get everything that they get for life from this. And I love Tom's dream. That he can build apartments for these people so that they don't ever have to come back here because nobody should ever have to come back here, ever. What's the blessing about the city of refuge compared to here? <laughs> I just feel so bad when I'm here. <laughs> Mark, you've been to Honduras before. How has this part of the journey impacted you? Um, every one of these trips is the same way. Um, the, our ability to be a king in the world, to, to share this, but there's nothing that really prepares you for this level of existence. What is the most impacting thing about coming to this place? Seeing after they already get stuff. Little things. Underwear. Right. If, if people in America were skeptical about IMI feeding people and helping people, what would you tell them? Come on one of these trips? Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Experience this for yourself. I mean, breathe this. Yeah. Yep. Because you can't, what we can't do in the video, Ryan, is we can't, um, we can't bring the smell, we can't bring the flies, and we can't breathe in the air. And our goal is to help people come out of this place. What's the difference between here, the garbage dumps, and, and the IMI City of Refuge? The refuge is, it's like America.
Several of you have been asking to see more of the children in these videos. Well, we heard you. After all, nothing breaks through the dark quite like the light of the Holy Spirit shining through the eyes of a child who was lost and is now found. One, two, three, four. Time with you, making all things new. Your light is breaking through the dark. This love it is sweeter than wine, bringing joy, bringing life. Your hope is rising like the dawn. Oh. time with you, making all things new. Your light is breaking through the dark. This love it is sweeter than wine, bringing joy and bringing light. Your hope is rising like the dawn. Oh. And this is what you do, this is what you do.
where we help women with hardships that have gone through divorce or abuse. And what we do is we bring them back into the workplace. Hello everybody, bonjour, salut à tous. This is Dr. Waka Waka, this is Dr. Waka. God bless Africa, God bless America, God bless Canada. Awesome trip. Guess what? Oh my God. You brought passed. to Africa so far to start building your schools. Thanks God. Money, electricity, plumbing, all those technical skills. That's what Africa needs right now. Awesome, awesome. When the rage is over, you'll be my savior. You'll be my savior. I'll be yours two times not on our side. We don't need no cure. Good I do love but it's the same It's love, yeah it's love Hey it's love, yeah it's love Yeah it's love I have one sister I have walked against school Let's get children come here